This episode is brought to you by FX's Feud, Capote vs. the Swans. Inspired by actual events, the series tells the story of Truman Capote and the women he betrayed. The original housewives, they were society's most elite women. Rich, glamorous socialites who defined a bygone era of high society New York. From creator Ryan Murphy, this drama series features an all-star cast, including Naomi Watts, Demi Moore, and Diane Lane. FX's Feud premieres January 31st on FX Stream on Hulu. Hear us roar. Hey, everybody, this is Kelly Wilkness here with Anita Joyce, and this is Decorating Tips and Tricks. Today, how to use animal prints to roaring success in your decor. Sorry, we couldn't resist. (laughs) One of us couldn't resist. It's a bold move, but you should all try it. Oh, I've always loved animal prints. And, you know, they're such a classic. So why not? But as things went toward the grays, it seemed like uh, most of them were very warm colors and they really fell out of favor for a while. Did you notice that? I think that that you're absolutely right. When everything got very gray, animal prints were not popping like they had been in the past. But now that we're introducing a lot more color, I think animal prints are back. They've always been here. You know, it's one of those classic things like the white kitchen. Animal prints are never going to go out of fashion. They're always going to look good. They are timeless. You can consider them a neutral, but they were not being seen as much. I totally agree. So they're whimsical. They're fun. And they're sophisticated all in one. I mean, what else could you ask for? It's such a great zing to add to your decor. I I so agree with you. They're really beautiful. Absolutely. They're a classic. And, you know, I mean, they are referred to as a neutral, which I always thought was strange. Uh, But a lot of times they do go with a lot of different patterns with the caveat that we've already kind of hinted around. And that is if you have uh, cool colors, you'll want to go with the cooler colored animal prints. And mm-hmm. But if you have the warm colors in your home, you can go with the more traditional animal prints. So if someone says animal print to you, and do you automatically think sort of browns and blacks and even oranges? If that's what you conjure in your mind, expand your thought process a little bit with regard to animal prints because they can come in all different colors, greens and pinks and things like that. So it can be the pattern, but the colors are different. And getting too close to the Tony the Tiger style animal print (laughs) is going to be something I want you to avoid. There are some out there that just look... Well, just like two animally print, almost like cartoonish or like a stuffed animal. You don't want that. So true. And another thing I think you want to really avoid is overusing them. I mm. think used in moderation, they add a real touch of class to a room. But when the whole thing looks like a jungle and something's getting ready to jump out and bite you, <laughs> that's over the top. So don't go there. It can It really turns tacky quickly. Yes. Yes. So use animal prints judiciously, but definitely use them and don't be afraid to mix them in. They don't have to, uh, air quotes, go. You know, it doesn't all have to be matchy matchy. They can really create that tension in a collection of pillows or in some other ways. It's not just for pillows or for textiles. And we'll talk about that too. I, and I want you to learn your prints or your hides, you know, be able to tell a cat from a zebra. That's pretty easy. But can you tell an ocelot from a cougar? Maybe mm. not. So have a look around because mm-hmm. there are a lot and they might not even be named properly, but there is a lot of different prints or patterns out there. I tend to like the ones that are a little bit on the smaller scale. Like I'm mm. not a big zebra fan. Right. And of course, we're not talking about real zebras and we're not talking no. about real cougars and mm. things like that. So we're talking about fabrics or something printed on a, a piece of decor that mimics that look. Um, I really like the smaller ones. I think they're easier to work with. And mm-hmm. if you think about a smaller, like a... Uh, like an oscillate or a um like a, a 
a panther print or something like that, you can almost think about it like a mid-sized pattern, like a paisley or something like that. And that's how you can mix it in with other pillows, other fabrics. Well, and right. And what about a shagreen, which is kind of the Mm. faux shark skin? So that's not going to be typically on a pillow. It's not typically a fabric, but you would see that on a coffee table or on coasters Mm -hmm. or something that's a hard surface. So we're not just talking about textiles here. Oh, yeah. And Serena and Lily has uh, a nightstands covered in that. Oh, it, they're gorgeous. I'm not sure. You'd probably have to use a coaster on them. So, <laughs> Well, I have but, a chagrin coffee table and you don't have to use a coaster. You don't? Mine. Really? No, I will not make you use one if you come to my house. Wow. See, mm-hmm. I would immediately think not having that in my house, I would immediately think it would leave a ring. But oh, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. See, you learn something all the time when you listen to DTT. And Oka has a lot of chagrin as well. You love that Oka. I do. I do. They have some really beautiful things. Yeah. And I think Anita might have mentioned this too. You don't want to go overboard, but you also don't want to be too matchy-matchy. So not too many things in the same animal print. And I wouldn't mix too many different animal prints. In fact, I would probably pick one in a room and go with it rather than having three different animal prints in one room. I think that would be a little bit too uh, feeling like you're out on the Serengeti. So take it easy. (laughs) Pick one that you really like. And... Yeah, the whole out of Africa thing. You want to avoid that. Well, on a side note, do you have any animal print shoes? Of course I do. And I love them. <laughs> I have several. <laughs> Me too. And my favorite pair of heels are animal print. Love them. Yeah, I even have some that are giraffe. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, not real giraffe, but yeah, giraffe, faux giraffe. <laughs> not real giraffe, Pretty right. Cool. Yeah. You must feel tall when you wear the giraffe I shoes. do. <laughs> <laughs> So definitely mix in other patterns with your animal prints. And as we said before, it doesn't have to match. And there's going to be a link in the show notes to this beautiful, fun, whimsical, yet sophisticated uh, cottage in Australia. A woman or designer named Anna Spiros, and it's her Brisbane cottage. So check it out. You see how Anna uses animal prints with bold color, with other bold patterns, and just sort of tosses it on the sofa and looks fantastic. Mm. Yes, it was a beautiful, beautiful house. And you can even look online. There's so many beautiful pictures of homes that are using animal prints. They're, they're really all over the internet and you'll, you'll enjoy going down that rabbit hole. Rabbit? I didn't even think about it. <laughs> no, no, no rabbits, no rabbits harmed here. No, no, okay. no. Okay. And definitely go beyond the pillows. Oh, different accessories. So faux hides are wonderful and other rugs that come in a pattern that's an animal print. Ballard has great animal print wool and synthetic rugs Mm -hmm. um yeah one that i really love is the celine cheetah rug it comes in grays browns and blues and the there it's i think it's on sale now but it might not be when you're listening but it's a really great price for the rug they run from like 79 dollars up to 800 depending on the size i did order swatches of this and i was a little bummed the way it came, but I understand what they did. So they don't really give you a piece of the rug so you can see the pattern. They send you a swatch of it with uh, lines, fairly thick, like maybe an inch of the different colors that's in the rug. And then on the back, they show you a picture of the design. So this is actually a card that you get? Or is it it's fabric? actually a piece of the rug, but I mean, it is, it's a piece of rug, but it's not the rug because it's oh. not the pattern. They've just sort of pulled oh. out the colors and then they send it to you that way. But I would definitely recommend if you're interested in this rug and, or anything, if you can get a swatch of it, order it. For sure. Well, that was actually one of my picks was that same rug. Oh, that's I saw funny. It. Well, and they have more than one 
uh, animal print rug, but it's so it's interesting that we both chose the same one. So we'll see. We may have all the same items today. Ah! So we'll okay. See. Well, I find that Ballard has a lot of animal print. And, you know, what do you go to Ballard for? So traditional, classics, timeless, and sophisticated items. So it makes sense that they do have a lot of animal print things. I think they have that antelope rug too, which again, mm-hmm. not real antelope. So, you know, we just, we'll keep saying it, but it's true. <laughs> so they're not selling antelope rugs there, but it's, a, I think that one might be wool and you see that one a lot. And then they have one that's a little bit, it's, you know, it's spotty. It gives the vibe of being an animal print, but, but there's, it's probably not based on a, an actual animal pattern, animal hide pattern, uh, but they're all really beautiful. The rug that I absolutely love that I have in my bedroom and I have had in a couple of different places in my house, but I'm really happy with it in the bedroom, is the faux hide cheetah rug from Aaron Gates. And you can get that in various places, um, but I got mine from Amazon, so I'll link the Amazon uh, rug in the show notes. It's a beautiful rug. It's washable. I just chuck it in the washing machine. I do it alone. Maybe maybe I'll throw a towel in with it, but I wouldn't put you know all your clothes in there with it because uh, it needs a little room. But it is a nice size rug. It's like five feet by eight inches, and then you know because it's an organic shape, maybe seven by something going the other way. I've had it for many years. I've had to wash it a few times because maybe there was an accident on it. Um, but otherwise, I just wash it every maybe month or so just for regular maintenance, comes out really nicely, doesn't lose any of its faux fur, and it's a low pile. So I highly recommend that one. If you just need a little pop, or something under your coffee table, I love what it does in my bedroom because I have a lot of traditional pieces in the bedroom and it just kind of sets it off a little bit and creates a little bit of that tension that we love. I so agree. I think that's a fabulous place to add animal print is in a rug. I love having a rug with just a couple of colors. So I think that is a fabulous idea. And a place that you don't often see an animal print is on a plate. But, you know, I love my plates. So I I found some leopard print accent plates at Ballard Designs, and they come in Hornflower, which is a blue, or natural, which is kind of the more toward the browns. And it's a set of four. These can be mixed with other things as well. So if you have some other patterns, a lot of times they will mix well, especially if they're solid colors with these animal print plates. So this would be a great plate that you could use to layer with some other plates and create a beautiful table setting for a party. Oh, I absolutely love that. And even if you were using just super traditional plates, I think that they could work with the animal print or something, a lot of floral, something with a lot of color. Or you know what I was picturing while you were talking about it is a tartan with like a tartan tablecloth mm, mm-hmm. with the animal print. I love that oh, that's together. that's a great idea. Yeah. Wouldn't that be pretty? Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Hey, we'll be right back with the rest of the show, but keep listening so we can continue bringing you DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. 
So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT. And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. And you just don't have to think about cats or zebras or giraffes. What about the tortoise? That has something distinctive on its shell, right? That is sort of an animal print in and of itself. So I love tortoise shell. It has a lot of movement to it. It's a really nice warm tones. Most of the time you'll see it in sort of the browns, but I've seen it also depicted in sort of like murkier, moodier greens or deeper colors, like maybe even edging towards like an ebony or something like that. So tortoise shell, think about different decor accessories that you might find in tortoise shell. A tray could be great in tortoise shell. Coasters could be great. And I found this beautiful tortoise shell vase. Now when I say tortoise shell, it's the impression of tortoise shell. It's made of glass and it's a nice size. It's chunky, low, eight by eight by eight. And I think it would be absolutely stunning center of a table or on your mantle or your coffee table. It makes a real statement. I like to have a vase too where you can't necessarily see the stems. So the stems would be obscured by the tortoise shell design. It's really beautiful. Link it in the show notes. Have a look. Well, and I've seen some beautiful tortoiseshell glass pitchers and bar glasses. Yeah. I think Mm -hmm. they look so classy and again, always in style, always beautiful. I think it's a great look. So I'm loving the printed lampshades. I think you've been seeing them everywhere too, right? Mm -hmm. So why not a blue and white leopard lampshade? I found some drum lampshades with the blue and white leopard print at Ballard Designs, but I noticed they actually have quite a few leopard print styles to choose from in different colors and different shapes and actually a couple of different patterns. They were all so beautiful and I'm thinking, hmm, it may be time for a shade refresh at my house. Oh, I found those too. I was laughing to myself when you said about them at Ballard. Because I was on Ballard looking for this rug, and when I put in animal print, all these fun things came up. So, yeah, they have the pleated fabric lampshades that we have been thinking about and seeing everywhere. The ones I saw have come in all different colors, and I think the pattern I saw was lynx, and Mm. it blue, green, pink. So you don't necessarily have to think about animal prints in those more browns and oranges and golds. I mean, I would just... Think about it as a pattern, not necessarily as that particular mm-hmm. set of colors, right? Because you could have, get one of these lampshades in pink. You could do something else in maybe a green. And it would be like a Lily Pulitzer tossed in with some animal print. So you do not have to have it in those browns and more neutral colors. Another one that I found at Ballard was a chandelier shade. Now, I'm not always a fan of those chandelier shades because I think that they do date a lot of fixtures. So 
I say to clients, I mean, we've said during consults, uh, uh, Anita and I have said, hey, just take those off and see what the chandelier looks like without the chandelier shade. But this particular chandelier shade, and it was on clearance when I took a look, it's the Linen Drum Chandelier Shade in an animal print. And this is a true browns and blacks animal print. Absolutely gorgeous. And a little drum shade. So the drum shape will modernize your fixture a little bit if you've got something on there that's a little bit more empire shaped and the animal print will definitely jazz it up. So that would be one that I could probably get behind as to adding that to a chandelier. If it's a really cool shade, then I think it might really kind of pump it up a notch. Uh, But you do have to be careful with those. Sometimes they do date them. So I think that's a great idea to try that. And One of my favorite animal prints in my house that my family fights over in the winter, not now, is the snow leopard print to throw that I have. It's very heavy. It's very warm. When we had the ice freeze in Houston a few years ago and the house and inside the house, it was 40 degrees because (laughs) they cut off our power and everyone else's for that matter. Um, (sighs) Yeah, we were fighting over it. I think we were all like grabbing a corner of it and trying to get under it. Uh, so I found something very similar because that one is no longer available. Of course, that oh, was a long time ago. Not oh, well, it was a long bad. time ago. But I found something similar. It's a wolf gray faux fur throw. <laughs> Try Ooh. to say that quickly. And it comes in several different colors, and the price does vary depending on which one you choose. These are at Oka, and they are on sale right now. So I think uh, go check those out. You're not going to want them for the summer, but. When the fall comes, when the winter comes, you might really enjoy those. Yeah. And that's why you can get on sale now because everybody's right. getting a little hot. For that. Exactly. Okay. There is one pillow at Ballard. Now, you know, we love Ballard, but there is one pillow and I've, they've had it for years. I think the thing about Ballard too is when they have something that's a good seller, they just keep it. They don't rotate it out. And that's mm-hmm. fine because it's good to know you can go back for this, but I wouldn't go back for this one. It's their Serengeti pillow and their Serengeti pillow is, it tips too far into the Tony the Tiger, uh, for me anyway, too far into that, almost like a caricature of an animal print. It's just too much. Mm, Too gold. Too gold and Mm -hmm. and too black and just kind of looks a little Vegas-y. I don't know. I don't like it at all. Um, And I, when I have looked for animal print fabrics or pillows in the past for myself or for clients, it comes up all the time. So I've Mm. seen this pillow for years. And if anybody has it and you love it, mm, I'm glad you love it. That's okay. This is just my opinion. I would pass that one by. That is not the look that I want to be going for two fabrics that I absolutely love that are animal prints are the Schumacher Iconic Leopard. Here's another one that comes in a myriad of colors. It runs from the ebony and the natural to fuchsias and greens. So you can truly have animal print anywhere, even in a green and pink sunroom, if you use the Schumacher Iconic Leopard. And I you can get samples of that from Decorators Best, and they send the nice big samples that we've talked <laughs> about before. It also comes in wallpaper. I mean, how fun would that be in a powder room or someplace? Ah, oh, I just love it. So I have that sitting right in front of me. I have it right in the graphite, and then I also have it in the one that has more the the linen background, which I think is the ebony and natural. It's a really great fabric. And then this other fabric, I got a few weeks ago for myself, but I might end up using it at clients too. It's Scalamandri Panthera Velvet in smoke. And this comes Mm. in a variety of colors too. And oh my gosh, I'm touching it right now. It feels (laughs) so good. You know, the velvet, but it's raised in areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how that Ballard Celine rug is that we love. But you know what? You would not necessarily maybe off the top of your head say, oh, wow, that's going to look great with a chintz. But this blows my mind Mm -hmm. next to the Pine Hollyhock Schumacher chintz print, which is my fave all-time fabric. It looks so good with that. And then maybe I would put it with a solid so mm. pull in maybe a gray or something like that. So I have the um, the charcoal pine hollyhock with the panthera velvet in smoke. 
check it out, my friends. That is quite a combo. Wow, that sounds fabulous. Really, my favorite blanket I have is a blue and white cheetah blanket I got from Soft Surroundings years ago. And they, I tried to find it. Of course, it sold out a long time ago. Mm. I looked for something similar everywhere. I couldn't find it, but it is one of my favorite blankets. I think it's just beautiful. And honestly, I think I'd be happy just using that as a bedspread. It's so pretty, but it also, it's kind of like you said, it's, it's got a raised pattern. It's not just Mm -hmm. a flat print. It is woven into the material. Now I did find some um, fabric that has, it's kind of a pink version of it. It's a smaller print and I needed some pink pillows. And so I found this on Etsy. I'll include the link, but you can have this pillow made to whatever size you want. And I got a couple of them and it's really pretty and soft and I'm enjoying it uh, in my, in my living room. I think it's going very well with the blues. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I see some pics of that. Anita, do you have something else? Well, I do. I've mentioned these before, but I'm going to bring them up again because I love them so much and they do fit into our topic today. And that is the gray and ivory leopard print towel uh, at World Market. So it's a really good bargain there. It's a woven print, really pretty. And this is kind of more the traditional, I guess, leopard print, but it's got kind of a cream background. I think that Mm -hmm. is well worth the money. I've been using those a lot and they're holding up very well. And I found one other really charming item, a cheetah print armless chair that has tons and tons of reviews that I think would be beautiful. It's a slipper chair. It's, it does not have arms. And I think that would be so lovely and it looks very comfortable uh, for a bedroom. Oh, a chair. That's great. Oh, a piece of furniture. And I love it. And that's a great piece of furniture to have in an animal print. Like I don't really think I'd want an entire animal print sofa, but a slipper chair perfect yeah or maybe a dining room chair with just that on the seat i think would be Mm -hmm. fun so fun okay what are we defining today we're defining elevation and that is a drawing that shows the front or side of something like a house so a floor plan as you know is going to show the space from above so it's like you're looking down from maybe the ceiling and it really shows you the layout and uh you know, the flow from one room to the other. It shows you where the windows are. It shows you the doors and that's the overhead. But the elevation is really showing you the exterior. So typically if you had an elevation drawn of your home, you would have it or, you know, if you were building it, would you would see the elevation, the front of the home. You would see the sides of the home and the back of the home. And that is what an elevation drawing is. That is a very good thing to know. You're giving us such great concrete info for so well, many things. Well, if you if for someone who's had a house built, they know what this is. But if you're mm-hmm. new to uh, decor and building and all this stuff, it might be a new term. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health. Potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co dot C-O slash DTT and use the code DTT. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. 
Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. So my crush today is uh, in keeping with the topic. I found this little item and I got one for myself. It's so adorable. So it's a little catch tray. It's there are two sizes, four and maybe a quarter and five and a quarter or something like that. It's a leopard print on the inside and vegan leather on the outside. And then it's kind of got... It's like the corners are pinched with a nice little brass uh, button, if you will, that goes through. So kind of pinched on the corners and then the inside is the leopard print. So I think it would be great uh, in your entry to toss your keys into something like that. I got it for my desk so I can put, you know, some paper clips and things like that in it just to sort of catch little items that can go astray in a very stylish way. Oh, that sounds so nice. I love how you're on topic. Well, it was, you know, it was sort of by accident. I thought, oh, how perfect. $9 for the smaller size and $12 for the bigger one. So my crush is a home that I would love to buy at $27 million, It's a little outside my range. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. Wow. Um, we went from $9 to $27 million Yeah, in the yeah, yeah. But it's it's actually an article in houseandgarden.co.uk. Remember R- Miranda Priestley in The Devil Wears Prada? I don't know if you remember her townhouse. I do. Yes. It was so stunning. Well, this is the house that I guess they filmed it in, and the oh. outside is so stunning. And so it is now on the market, and that's what it's going to cost you to buy it. It's in New York City, but the staircases are stunning. The moldings are amazing. Lots of detail and a gorgeous little balcony. So much detail and although I don't think any of us are going to buy it, you'll enjoy going to look at it. Well, if you do buy it, I want <laughs> yeah, whoever know. buys it to hire us to be your, because yeah, I mean, I'm sure you want to tweak it and make it your own. So we would want to be your decorators for sure. That's so funny that you mentioned that movie because I was just listening to a podcast and they were interviewing Stanley Tucci. And remember he was in Devil Wears Oh, Park. yes, he was yes. In there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was. And they were talking more about his, you know, his whole thing, you know, because he's done um, those food shows and Finding Italy and all of that. So I was thinking about that movie over the weekend. Well, he was in Julie, Julia. Yes, he was. Yes, he's uh, Julia's husband there. Yes, yes, Paul. Wow. Well, I have to go check that out. I love a home tour. Oh, don't I just love a home tour? Oh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's perfection. It really is beautiful. And wow, this has been fun. Let's try to walk on the wild side today. <laughs> Okay. We're that, just really that was my turn. that home. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be on the prowl for our next topic. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Want to talk to us? Well, we really want to talk to you. So let's schedule a design consult. And Nita and I are here to give you individualized, actionable advice on how to create the beautiful home you want and deserve. It's so easy to schedule a design consult with us. Simply click the link in the show notes or head to decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash consult. When we talk to you on the scheduled time, we will be ready with so many great tips, advice, and yes, tricks. So sign up today for a design consult. We can't wait to talk to you.